Alright guys, welcome back to my Let's Play at Clock Tower, where we left off. We're at the final scenario with Jennifer, and we are exploring the mansion. Some writings have been carved into the desktop. It says, take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. Well, we know what it means. Come on, we, we definitely know. Um, let's go in the fire pit. Can we? Oh no, we can't. Apparently we can't. Never mind. Um, there was this little can still stick I'm assuming actually it is candlestick holder wax has dripped here and there well let's enter here first we do have a candle we can use on it but let's let's look in here first so let's look here there's nothing here I can read okay we'll go over here books on alchemy there are in many different languages and are in Little boxes up here, of course. A book is on the boxes on the bookshelf. I can't reach it. Well, use the ladder, Jennifer. Like, jeez. An old lamb skip parchment. The Barrows family genealogy. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The thirteenth generation Barrows. Quinton Barrows. It says traitor. You know, have genealogy. Whoa. There were, you know, those lovely, lovely pictures of all the barrows lined up. I wonder if that has any connection. I act like I don't know. In truth, I do know it does have a connection. We're going to investigate that here pretty quick. So let's get out of here. I'm going to check one spot here. Let's look in here quickly. I just need to check up on something. It smells like something is burning. Well, what's happening here? Oh no, Tim! Oh no, Tim. Oh, Tim's ass is on fire. I guess Tim got fried. The camera's on the floor. It's a professional camera Tim was using. What's that? Dot 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 dot. There are some matches on the floor. You now have the matches. Okay, well we have matches in that. We can totally use that with a candle. For what? I guess we'll find out when we get there. So, let's head back here. Okay, so... Let's look at this picture. A plaque reads Quinton Barrows. He is the 13th generation. A note is stuck um, to the back side of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quinton Barrows. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's head to the library. So let's head up here. And let's head to the library. So, they said to check the fireplace. So let's check the fireplace. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Well, oh, check again. <laughs> Whoop. I guess that... You know, that lovely, lovely fireplace is a terrible fireplace, too. So what do we do here? Well, I'm glad you asked. What do we do? We take our lovely candle. 
because we don't have the fire or the flashlight like Helen. And then we use the matches. A candlestick holder. Wax has been dripping here and there. Oh wait. Damn it, right. They do the candlestick and then they do one higher up is where you need to put stuff. Sound like that. So if I put it here, nope. Oh, come on. You can use the candle. Interesting. Oh, right. Okay, because I haven't clicked on it. The game thinks I haven't interacted with that. Now we can. Ugh. I was going crazy there. The candle has been placed in the holder. Let's light it. Something is stuck on the back. This looks like a sketch of the mansion. There seems to be a passage drawn under the fountain. You now have the mansion map. Ooh, look how shiny that is. All right, before we go continue, I'm going to make a quick save here, guys. Great, and my save file is going to be a little off, but I should be able to tell by timestamp, which is what. Okay, so let's return. Let's. Oh, oh, we got season man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, guys. We got season man. Oh no. Well, let's leave him be. Where do you want to go? We need to evade him. How are we going to evade him, guys? Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I know where to go. I do love this evade point, so let's go use it. Plus, we're... We can access the fountain from here after the escape. So I'm gonna say his dive was an 8 out of 10. I imagine since we've been playing this a little bit more, he's actually took time to work on his technique. Um, so let's go in here. Let's click on... Oh, what was that noise? Well, let's get this done. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. Okay, well, let's go over here. Oh, oh, with those Barden. Oh, nice to see him hanging. And this is a man just jumping from a tree. Where can we hide now? We can't really use the, um, the door that leads to the water like, too often because of how stressed out she gets. It will actually kill you. So, let's use something in here. Uh, let's try. Try the. Ah, let's do the pot. We need some good slapstick in our game. I will say, I do find it interesting she went that way. Like, if Scissor Man kept going for us, we'd be totally screwed. That's okay, he has a tendency of teleporting out of here. Like so. So, let's head back to the fountain. Poor Barton, he died. And let's go in here. And let's go down below. The water in the fountain drained away.
Edward, are you all right? Jennifer, I found a way out. Where? It's over there. Everyone else is already there. Uh, really? Dan, you Edward. Can it? And you. So let's see what ending we got here. We got ending D. Okay, so we're we're making progress. We're we're kind of moving up the chain here. So before we continue, let's check our notes here. Actually, double check endings. So yeah, we have three endings left. Now let's check the pamphlet. Let's check our hints. We did get some more hints. We got hint nine. If Jennifer's the protagonist in the last scenario, when she's trying to escape and runs out onto the second floor Terrence, if you click on something. I don't think we got any other hints, did we? Play it extremely important. It would be wise to write it down. Okay, that's another hint. Um, okay. Well, we can continue. Do I have time, though? That's the question. Let me check here. So what other ending do we need? We need three more endings. So. Let's see, we just got D. I think we can grab... Do we have time for B? Okay, we have time for B. Let's quickly get B ending. We can do it from a save file. So, it would be this one here. We just gotta make a little detour. So, we still need to get this. So, let's go to one particular place here. So, from here we need to go... Well, essentially I had to go downstairs. I should just backtrack. So the only two people we haven't found yet is Helen and Nolan. Where are they? Who knows? So let's head down below. And let's go through here. Now let's use the oil can here. It worked. Okay. Well, something's shaking in that box. So let's beforehand. Let's quickly grab. Yeah, quickly grab this. A rope. Okay. I wonder why the rope and candle are together. You now have the rope. So let's check out the items here. Chemicals and laboratory instruments. Okay. Uh, let's open this. Nolan was in here last time. Is he in here this time? <laughs> scissor man. A mummified scissor man. The corpse looks very old. A key. You now have box key. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's check, check out this chest. It was kind of bobbing in that. Oh my goodness, random bats just pop out of that. Can we open the door? 
I guess so. Um, well, let's use the rope on the door. Okay, now let's open this. It's locked. Well, I guess we have a box key. Let's try it on the box. Helen! Are you alright? Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Now let's talk to Helen. Are you alright? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. She is correct. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. And I must find it. Alright, well, you know what? She knows Latin. Let's give her that spell of ours. A foreign note. Pardon. Oh, Helen, look what I found. Can you read it? It's in Latin. Words to open door. Words to open door? I think that's what it says. Look here. These words down here must be the spell. It says, Mha Ish. It sounds like a magic spell. Maybe this is the key to kill Scissor Man. Oh, well, I'm pretty confident about it. Let's go show him who's boss now. Let's do this. We got everything we need. We can go totally fight Scissor Man. Plus, Gots is alive. Maybe Gots will save us, cause, cause he's got this. So we're just gonna ignore Barden. We're just gonna leave him there hanging. Plus, we don't want to deal with Scissor Man right now. Now let's go down there. Let's show Scissorman who's boss. Or Edward, I should say. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, I guess not. I guess we still Edward, deal with Edward. Are you all right? Or Jennifer, never mind. I found a way out. Where? It's over there. Kid is too excited. Everyone else is already there. Uh, really? Okay, well I guess I missed some stuff, unfortunately. So we're not quite there to get one of the endings. That sucks. I thought I had everything for that said ending. Apparently I'm missing some more steps here. If that's the case then, I am going to end the episode here guys. I am gonna go figure out what I'm missing out of the other endings to get said ones. I know how to get A ending, definitely know that one, but B and C, I thought I knew, apparently not. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my Let's Play Clock Tower. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other Let's Plays as well. All that fun stuff. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!